Hi friends, in this IBM MQ tutorial series, we are going to learn about distributed queuing. So the agenda of this topic is to learn distributed queuing. Distributed queuing is a concept which explains how two systems send or receive messages through MQ protocol. These two systems can be two different hosts. So in this tutorial, we are going to make such configuration. We are going to have two different systems. So in one system, I will install a queue manager. Another system, we will, we will install another queue manager. And we will have a local and remote queues in both systems. And we will make some type of a configuration which will enable to send message from one system to another system. Okay. This concept is called as a distributed queuing. At the last, we are going to test this configuration also. So, distributed queuing, we, we can understand with this diagram. As you see over here, there are two queue managers, QM1 and QM2. These two queue managers will be in different, different systems. So, let us assume this queue manager is in some local system. So I can say as a local queue manager and this queue manager is installed in some different host. So I can take this QM2 as a remote queue manager. Okay. So what are the objects we need to create to make such type of a connection? So from the QM1 side, like local queue manager side, we need to create a remote queue, a transmission queue, a sending channel and in the remote queue manager side, I need to create a receiving channel and the queue to which I am going to send a message from queue manager 1. Okay, so let's understand this thing little in little bit more detail. Okay, so okay, so suppose I have one queue manager as a, I made as I gave the name as a QML. And another queue manager I have as a QMR. So this is a remote queue manager means which is installed in some different machine. And this is a local queue manager. Okay, fine. And what I want to achieve in remote queue manager, there is a queue which is local to this queue manager. Queue name is a QA. Okay, what I want to do. I want to send a message from this queue manager to this queue, QAQ. Okay. So the first thing what I need to do in the local queue manager side, I need to create a remote queue. Okay. Remote queue and let's give the name of the remote queue as a QR. Remote queue is a queue, okay, which is, which is the definition of this local queue. Remote queue is not the local queue of this queue manager. It is just a definition of, of a queue which exists in some other queue manager. So when we create a remote queue, we, we need to basically need to tell what is the queue manager name, what is the host name, where actually uh, that, that queue manager is there. Okay. And we need to give the name of the queue also local queue of remote queue manager okay second object what we need to create that is the transmission queue okay so let's say we are going to make a transmission queue as a queue trans okay so let's understand what is a transmission queue transmission queue whenever you send any message in the remote queue, that message directly comes to the transmission queue. Transmission queue holds that message. And after that, this message goes to the sender channel. So I will create a sender channel also over here. So let's have, let's give the name as a CHA. Okay. So whenever you create a sender channel, we need to give the detail about the Another queue manager name, again the host name, 
we need to give the listener port okay these are the details we need to provide whenever we create a sender channel okay and remote queue manager side of course we will we will have the local queue and we need to have a receiver channel so and this sender channel and receiver channel name both should be same so let's give i gave as a name as a cha okay let's see how this connection happens so whenever we are sending a message in a remote queue which is a qr automatically this queue manager local queue manager will understand this message is not local to me this message is supposed to send to some other queue manager and since in the queue in this remote queue we are also providing the name of the uh, of the queue local queue okay of another remote queue manager so when you place a message automatically this queue manager will understand which queue manager it have to connect and which queue it have to send a message okay so once you put a message automatically okay that message will go to that transmission queue and transmission queue will put the message into the sender channel if, if you see in the sender channel again you are giving the name of the queue manager name the host name listener port so automatically this sender channel will connect to the this receiver channel okay and once the message will come to the receiver channel in the message uh, already that queue name will be there so this from this channel the message will be picked into this local queue okay after making the connection we have to make sure we have to start both of the channels okay so let's create this configuration and then we will test okay so here uh, what I, we are going to do since i do not have another host so what i will do in the same host i will create two queue managers okay so new let's say this is the first queue manager and i am giving the name as a qml and let's keep all the default settings okay and we will create another another queue manager in the same machine and we give the name as a qmr usually what we have what we are supposed to do we are supposed to create this remote queue manager in another host okay so since i do not have another host so i i am going to create in the same machine qmr okay okay it says this port is already used by another mq listener so i will give the port as a 1415 okay so another queue manager is created now we need to create a local queue over here in the remote queue so let's give the name a uh, name of the queue as a queue a next okay and it's a normal queue so finish okay now next task what we need to do we have to create a transmission queue over here so let's queue new local queue queue trans next and at this point we have to change this to transmission queue okay and finish okay then we need to create a remote queue new and here remote queue definition okay so let's give the name as a qr next okay so here we need to provide these details what is the queue this remote queue is referring so the queue name queue name is a qa remote queue manager name is a qmr okay and transmission queue you can select from here queue trans okay so we have created uh, one transmission queue one remote queue okay and now the next task will be we have to create a sender channel sender channel let's give this name as a cha next 
here we, we need to provide the connection name connection name is nothing it is the host name and the listener port okay so since we are not using the other host so we need to provide the host name as a local host if we are uh, if the queue manager is installed in other machine the here you need to provide the host name of that machine and along with the listener port and here you need to give the transmission queue from which uh, transmission queue the message is put in this channel okay so first we need to see the listener port so we can check the listener listener port from here go to next queue manager and listeners and the port is 1415 okay so again come over here and channels new center channel C H A okay so this is the way we provide the listener port and host name and this is the transmission queue queue trans okay and that's it okay and same way we need to create a channel here new receiver channel okay and this name should be same so that both channel could talk to each other and that's it we don't need to do any other changes over here okay so our all the configuration is done as we discussed so we have created a local queue manager we created a remote queue we created a transmission queue in queue trans and we created a sender channel okay same way we have in the remote queue manager side we have created a local queue QA and we created a receiver channel CHA okay so as you see over here both channels are down okay so what we can do we can make these channels started okay channel okay so now channels are getting started okay now this channel status is running it means this communication between QML, QML and QMR is established okay so now your system is ready and now you can put message in QML, QML queue in remote queue and this message should be received into the another queue okay so let's put some message hi hello world put message close so if you see over here in transmission queue open input count is one open output count is one okay and let me see over here in the local queue in the local queue one message is there current queue depth one let me see this message so browse messages and see here data and you can see the message hi hello world so i am putting the message in this remote queue over here okay and this message basically goes to transmission queue and from transmission queue it goes to channel sender channel and th then receiver channel and then finally this message is received into the this local queue of this remote queue manager okay so we will understand few more things over here if you see this remote queue is connected to this transmission queue that is the reason here you can see one open input count means there is one application which is putting the message in this transmission queue and there is one application which is listening to this transmission queue that is why the open output count is also one okay now let's do one thing suppose this channel is down okay stop okay okay so you can see both channels are stopped okay now let me put another message in the remote queue and we'll see what happens to that message like giving us a second message 
okay fine let's refresh okay so you can see over here when your channel is stopped means due to some reason the connection is not getting established between one queue manager to another queue manager so your so remote queue takes that message and that message remains in the transmission queue the point your channel will be started let's start this channel okay your message should be automatically delivered to the next queue and that is the functionality of mq it works in a asynchronous way so let me see so let me start this channel also okay so now both sender channel and receiver channel both channels are running and now if you see transmission queue the queue depth is zero means this message went to the sender channel and finally if you see over here this message is received into the queue a so now queue depth is two okay so if you want you want to see over here browse messages and let's see the second message what is the second message you can go to data and you can see over here second message okay so this is the way two queue managers which are installed in different different host okay talks to each other okay so in this tutorial we learn about distributed queuing so we will publish more tutorials in mq shortly thank you if you have any queries please post into the comment box we will reply you back as soon as possible. Thank you.